Some say being a merch guy is easy. And all you do is just sit in the back and sell shirts, listen to your favorite band, play music on tour. I've been a merch guy my entire life. And let me tell you, it was not an easy ride. Being a merch guy has been in the family for as long as I can remember. I remember my father, he wanted me to take over the family merch business. And initially I wanted to, you know, go out and get a medical degree, become a doctor, maybe a brain surgeon. My father was just distraught at the idea. I like getting to the venue super early. Setting up the merch table is a ritual of sorts. You can't just willy-nilly unfold your table, slam some shirts on it. I've never, I've never seen anyone merch that fast before. I was just like looking around the stadium and I was bewildered. Like literally everyone, everyone turned and looked at the merch and was just watching the merch. Even the band, even the band left the stage to watch him. He was so good at what he did. Small, medium, large, extra large, extra, extra large, extra, extra, extra large. T-shirts and, and, and hoodies and pins and, and uh, stickers and posters. I got that poster. I was there. I got that poster. I like to really take my time really drawing out the process of setting up the merch table. I like to have very clear-cut zones, one for t-shirts, one for patches, one for your meal. And of course, you should never be eating at the merch table, unless of course it is Wendy's. He had it all, and he would always have exact change for you. I gave him a hundred dollar bill and he had exact change, ninety dollars in coins. I couldn't believe it. It was amazing. That table is like a second home to me. Sometimes I wake up to watch the sunrise on days that I'm at the table. People always go up to me like, hey Carpizzo, how do you do it? How do you keep up with it? And you know, it's more than just keeping up to date with the latest merch guy trends. All right, it's more than just what's the most optimized way to sell the most triple XL hoodies at an attack attack show. No. Being a merch guy is about embodying the very spirit of capitalism at rock shows. For without merch guys, there would be no rock shows. People say that merch guys are the least important members. Well, while I'm sitting there working for eight dollars an hour, I'm making sure the band gets paid. Without me and other merch guys like me, rock and metal would be dead. Merching is an art. You know, you can't just not keep up with it and expect to retain your abilities, you gotta train. Being a merch guy is a full-time job. You're on the clock even when you're not at the table. I'm settling merch constantly. You can find me on Facebook Marketplace slash creator. I heard the reason why Metallica drew such a big crowd at Moscow in 91 was because of Carpizzle and his, his just magic hands working the merch. So support your local merch guys. Sign a petition to get merge guys in your area unionized. Merge guys deserve employment rights and the ability to strike and protest against unsafe, unfair, unethical, and unsanitary practices made by bands that employ merge guys. Go to www.unionizeamergeguide.com and unionize a merch guy in your area today. I am Carpizzle, and I am a merch guy.